high crimes and wrongdoing are by nature acts of commission. Then again, one can also be equally at fault for deliberately doing nothing or knowingly shirking one's responsibilities to put someone else's life or safety at risk or in peril. PTV's Melalis Moras on a new wrinkle of an act of omission that has surfaced on the mysterious no-show of the governor's police protection on the day of the ambush. As ordered by House Speaker Martin Romualdez, the House Committee on Public Order and Safety is set to conduct a motto proper inquiry soon on the brutal killing of Negros Oriental Governor Ruel de Gamo. The House investigation will mainly focus on the failure of several police escorts of the slain governor to report for duty on the day he was gunned down in his own house, as five out of six of them were missing in action on that fateful day. According to Speaker Romualdez, prior to the crime, Governor de Gamo had already reported to the police about the threats to his life, so the authorities should have implemented stricter measures. Calling it highly suspicious, Romualdez said, it appears that the perpetrators were aware that the governor has practically no protection. So they want to find out if some PNP personnel were in cahoots with the suspects, and if this is proven, they will not hesitate to recommend filing of appropriate criminal charges against everyone involved. House Committee on Public Order and Safety Chairperson Dan Fernandez said, as of now, they're expecting various personalities to attend the House inquiry. Nimbitahan natin doon sila the IHL Secretary Ben Ramalo, si Boyeng Limulia, si PNP Asarin, and most likely baka maimbitahan din natin yung ano, mismong mga polis na hindi uh, pumunta doon sa, sa mga assignments sila. We need to find out yung veracity ng uh, mga info that was collated by the speaker. But now that one of their colleagues, Negros Oriental 3rd District Representative Arnie Tevez, is being dragged into the issue, are they going to invite them too? I'm pretty sure, ano, uh, baka may ma-discuss din yan. But uh, of course, syempre, alam naman natin that uh, we need to balance everything eh. Kasi nga, uh, uh, presume innocent siya until uh, proven guilty. Sa ngayon, hindi namin siya inibitahan doon sa hearing. Kasi nga, yung focus namin ay tungkol doon sa security na nagkaroon ng lapses. For its part, the PNP is also investigating the matter. Deep D5 personnel na sinasabi na security ni Governor Digamo, ito ay siya mismo ang namili. Kilala niya itong mga ito. And uh, siguro uh, they have to explain nga bakit uh, ano. But usually kasi yung five na yan, may rotation kasi yan eh. Melales Moras for the nation.